Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardvite Vanguard EVA deck profile for post Minerva Rising. We have new support in the form of new glitter backup for Fountain of Knowledge EVA and a new order as well. We keep getting more and more research orders for the EVA deck and they just make the deck more and more consistent because the deck focuses on having all these different orders set up for you to use with your main go-to grade three Vanguard and the added backup glitter unit obscure died with its new grade 2 form in the deck as well so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so for the ride deck our starter is one who craves knowledge eva one wrote upon if you went second draw a card the standard starter skill our grade one is an afternoon nap regardless of place eva when this unit is placed by riding from one who craves knowledge eva search your deck for up to one research card reveal it put it in your hand and shuffle your deck so having the option with all of the research cards we have have in the deck now including the newest one from Minerva Rising the world is a blue research lab you have all these options available to you but most of the time you will want to search for the grade one option which is result of the experiment henceforth since you'll be on a grade one vanguard to begin with our grade two is smooth research progress eva when placed by riding from an afternoon nap, regardless of place EVA, search your deck for up to one research card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. So then you can go for the grade two option for your research card, which is experiment successful, because our grade three, the world is a blue research lab, still has to have a grade three vanguard for you to resolve. Our grade three is Fountain of Knowledge EVA, along with the copy we are running in the ride deck. We are also running three additional copies in the main deck on the vanguard circle once per turn. Count plus one, look at the top cards of your deck equal to the number of research cards in your ore zone up to one from among them put it into your hand put the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order and this unit gets plus five thousand to end of turn and on vanguard when this unit attacks count plus one soul blast one search your deck for our hand for up to one of Skewdiad's card name and call it to rear guard. And if you search your deck, shuffle your deck. So this being able to search out multiple units now, including the new grade two form of Obscuedide, just gives you all the consistency depending on which Obscuedide you want for that search. And with the more options to search, we don't really have to call out from our hand if it relies on us having to resort to that anymore, since we have more targets to go for with your Eva in the main deck to use. For the other grade threes, the one form of Obscudi, which is its original form from the first set, is Knight of Blackness, Obscudi. When this unit attacks, if your order zone has a set order, it gets plus 5,000 to end of battle. If it has three or more, it also gets plus 10 instead of plus 5. And when this unit is placed on rear by a card ability, if your order zone has three or more research cards, it gets critical plus 1. And on rear guard and guard circle, it gets intercept and plus 10,000 shield. Giving you a grade three with the plus 10,000 shield definitely does help with the defensive aspect but having the additional critical is what makes it such a great offensive card having the plus 10,000 from its own skill and then making it 23k with an extra critical every time it attacks moving on now to the grade twos i run three copies of great sword of fierce black flame obscure died this grade two version adds more pressure if your order zone has three or more set orders it gets plus 5,000 power and shield plus five and with Glitter of Eva, the one is placed on rear by your card's ability this turn, and your order zone has three or more research cards. When this unit attack, it would balance all of your opponent's front row units. So this is a card that can clear out the front row for your pressure and have no worry for when your grade three version of Obscure Die attacks, because then it also makes it so if your opponent wants to keep any of their front row, they have to guard all of the attacks, including their Vanguard, or they can let the Vanguard attack hit. You name it. You have plenty of ways to call out this card to the rear guard as well so i'm only running three copies of it if you were to run a fourth copy of this you could reduce the number of your orders since we are running the new grade through one you could drop results of the experiment henceforth to a lower number to put in a fourth copy of obscure die the other grade twos that we run in the deck is four copies of combined rusher when this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit if your order zone has two or more set orders it gets plus ten thousand to end of battle and from the drop zone when your order is played from your hand and it's put into your order zone count plus one and call it to rear guard from the drop zone so it just gives you another grade two two potentially set up on the field that could also be attacking for 20,000 on its own. 
And then moving on now to the grade ones, running two copies of Detonation Mutant, Bobble Mine. You put it into the soul for a counter charge at the end of the battle this unit boosted, and if your aura zone has a set order, giving you that soul power buildup and also just a counter charge option. We don't really run much for the grade ones, but still, Obscure Diet is a good option to rely on with just being able to give you back some of those resources that you will definitely invest in with your other units in the deck, especially with your setup that you'll use for either Eva or even just your research order. And then the last grade ones that we run in the deck are just four Sentinels. So for Violate Dragon, if you wanted to run Elementaria Sanctitude, you could just take out one copy of the Violate Dragon for that Blitz Order spot in the grade one lineup. Moving on now to the orders. Our first order that we ever got for the deck was Experiment Successful. When this unit is put into the order zone, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, discard it. If your order zone has three or more research cards, you can Soul Blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and bind it. So any, you know, needed rear guards your opponent may have are just completely taken out of the equation thanks to this card. Only two, though, it is searchable with your ride deck. So if you go for the needed grade three ride, you'll have this card add to your hand for you to use. Same with the the grade one option, which we are running four copies of results of the experiment henceforth. You play it if your vanguard is a glitter with Eva in its card name from the order zone. All your rear guards with Obscu died cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects, giving you more protection for the grade two and the grade three version that we run in the deck. And in the order zone, if your order zone has four more research cards, put this unit into your soul. Counter charge one, choose a card with Obscu die and its card name from your drop zone and put it into your hand. Recycle power along with the grade two option because you will definitely use it for an intercept just like the grade three with the added shield and power that both copies will get just being able to add those cards back into your hand gives you another guard card to use also against your opponents and we are also running four copies of the new order which is the world is a blue research lab play this if your vanguard is glitter with eva and its card name when this card is put into the order zone look at the top five cards of your deck choose up the one card from among them call it to rear and shuffle your deck so more setup with your cards on the field and from the order zone once per turn you can soul blast one rest three research cards in your order zone choose one of your glitter units and it gets plus five till end of turn so you're just making use for some of the other orders that will just be put into the soul for their other skills just being able to rest them for the blue research labs own skill and then just invest in them again once again once you set up more and more order units in the order zone for you to use against your opponent and this plus five is great but the main play comes down just to the search consistency to get the proper units on the field for you to use and then for our trigger lineup, we are running seven critical. So four copies of the Patrol Robo Decker Cup and three copies of Cardinal Draco for just that added pressure with your Eva, but also being able to give this power additionally to your Obscure Die that you have on the field with the other power it's already amassed. And for the next trigger lineup, same premise why we're running the front trigger, Cardinal Draco. It has the plus five shield also for added defense, but just more uh, pressure to the front row when attacking, whether it is one of your copies of Obscure the combined rusher with its own plus 10 you have all this power stacked up with the persona ride even more making it that much more scary and for the heal lineup we're running two copies of the cardinal prima and two copies of creaking world if you have the other additional heal trigger for the critical guard you can put it in for one of these spots for this heal with our over trigger being the eldo breath being able to double the critical and power of your front row units just makes it all the scarier when you get it with eva because with your additional critical for your obscure dies they could be hitting for some pretty big numbers if your opponent guarded the eva attack but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. Once again, thanks to my buddy Nick for letting me borrow his glitter deck. It's fun because we have each a you know designated glitter deck in my group of friends and my buddy Anthony with the Gria and my buddy Nick with uh, you know Eva. Plenty more friends to look to to update all the other glitter decks and help me out with the new support from the Minerva Rising set. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.